Well, for more on Adidas and its results, we are joined now by the company's CEO, Herbert Hainer. We're so glad to have you with us. We know this quarter was disappointing for Hello. you. Good morning, because of the comparison with the Chinese sales. No Good Olympics morning. this time around. Where else did the negative surprise come from for you? Good. I do believe the quarter has positives and negatives. Uh, of course, the negative was uh, the profit situation, but we had two uh, uh, exceptional cases. One are the currencies. The other one was we had a positive uh, one-time effect in 2008. But what was really positive is that in terms of net sales, uh, all our segments are growing compared to the average of the year in, two, in the fourth quarter. And this makes us uh, quite optimistic for 2010. Philip, are you there? I am there, yeah. So let's quickly jump in here as well. Mr. Heiner, thank you for joining us. Philip Enz here from the Stock Exchange in Frankfurt. Does this then going forward really make the yeah, World Cup uh, so much more important? Is really, and what would you qualify as a sales win for you? Which number do you have to top to be really happy? Good, as I have said already in our press conference this morning, uh, we are cautiously optimistic for 2010 and we will grow our revenues by low to mid single digit. And I do believe this will come through all the segments. We will see an increase uh, in Adidas, helped of course by the World Cup. We will see an increase, a growth for Reebok, uh, helped by Easy Tone and SigTech. The same for Rockport and also TaylorMade uh, will have at least a flat business. So overall, as I said, uh, I'm uh, cautiously optimistic. I think 2009 was a very good year for us in terms of balance sheet. Uh, we were able to uh, reduce our net debt by over 1.2 billion euro. We uh, reduced our inventory by 27 percent. So we have a very, very healthy balance sheet, a clean inventory. And this is the starting point for getting back into growth in 2010 already. Sir Heiner, we know the World Cup is coming up in South Africa. We know that you and Nike are both just moving for position there. What's a win for you sales-wise? I definitely do believe that uh, we will be the winner of the World Cup and I tell you why. First and foremost, we have 12 teams competing more than anybody else. We are the partner of the FIFA. This means we have the official ball, the Chabulani, we have all the referees, the ball boys. We have more than 100 players wearing our products during the World Cup. We have the host nation, South Africa, and uh, we have introduced our programs already in the fourth quarter 2009 and our football sales were up by 27% in the fourth quarter 2009. This shows already the great acceptance of retailers and consumers to our programs and this will continue in 2010 until the World Cup. Mr. Heiner, very quickly, who wins the World Cup? My favorite uh, this time is Spain because I think they have the best technically skilled uh, team. You never should underestimate the German team. All right. Thank you very much. Not that you're biased for them, of course. We'll excuse that. Mr. Heiner joining us there, the CEO of Adidas.